Hello Virgo and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of December 18th. Well, you do have manifesting energy, so I do see that right off the bat. Okay, watch a little bit for moodiness this week. I mean, there is some yellow or it could be a little bit of anxiety. Or it's, you may have something heavy on your mind trying to decide which way to go or some plans. That's another thing I'm seeing here too. Okay. You know, your home um, or your foundation, there's some kind of relief coming through. Okay, but there may come something may come to a climax before it just like settles down. That's it can go both ways for that. Um, it can go both ways. I do see a shift of energy for some. Um, I do see some romance. Um, I do see some dealings with um, youthful energy. This could be your own children. Um, very creative energy coming through too. Okay, and trying to. How do I say? Relax more and have fun is what I'm seeing here. Um, now, money, there could be some issues, not exactly issues, but um, this could be related because I see youthful energy, maybe a child, maybe they need something, maybe you're spending too much. Um, maybe they want to loan money if you have adult children and that's something about it could be a little bit off. So, you know, be careful, you know, just say you give money to your kids and they're younger and maybe they lose it you know their pocket money something like that it's just something or you could be spending too much you know it's like i don't know about you guys but um i've had five kids and you know name brands as long as the quality uh, matches i am not going to go buy a brand name because the kids grow like you buy a pair of gym shoes or something um, because it's a name brand and it's like a hundred dollars versus something that's maybe thirty dollars and it's the same material it's just I'm paying for the name I ain't gonna do that one kid's feet grow so fast I'm gonna be throwing them out in a few months so it's like um, that kind of energy too you know of course everybody do what you want how you view it I'm just giving what I feel you know this could be something here where money could be wasted or how I just don't see how, why people do that. I don't care even if you're got money to blow. It's just, to me, a waste because you're paying for the name. But you know, like I said, everybody to each his own. But I do see some kind of energy, something to that could be an example. Um, you go, I do see you, like, even though you're reserved in some area, you might respond to... Um, some situation of that that you're going to let go, a chance to let your free spirit out or enjoy something exciting, some kind of exciting connections are coming through here. Okay, some kind of thrilling too. Um, good energy. I do see also, you know, your feelings, how you feel about some stuff, uh, your responsibilities, and who is worth calling your attention, okay? So I do see that energy and questioning that. I do see also um, the home. Uh, like I see, I see more of a relief there and there's more understanding coming through maybe with people you live with or just your foundation, all right? Let's see. Maybe something you've been shopping for. Just say you have wanted some specific pair of shoes and they didn't have it in. That may just suddenly come up too. So check your... If you're buying um, some item and you they, they're they like out of stock, maybe that's going to come through too. I do see that energy too. I know it's specific, but I do see it. Um, I also see that you can possibly be um, dealing with someone else's emotion. Maybe someone else's um, emotional around you. Um, but there's also a sweetness to it, okay? And more stability. And it's going to draw you in more. That's what I see for some of you there, okay? Yeah. So we do see, see these shift of changes. Some of you could be maybe a little bit moody because change does bring, you know, that kind of um, energy sometimes. Just, you know, a little bit um, frustration in that. What I do see here is travel is showing up, okay? And for some, it's like been in the back of your mind and travel looks very good. Uh, for some, if you're going to be traveling, um, it's going to be um, even more... 
fun than you realize is the best way to say it. It's like kind of blessings. I like that. Um, you know, this week is about new ways of doing things, okay? Meeting new people, um, doing doing things doing things differently, uh, doing new things. That's the energy um, that I'm seeing too. Okay, so you are more creative. For some of you, you may be dealing with a, um, let me see. Yeah, there is some youthful energy, so you could be dealing with children again. I am seeing that energy, okay? Um, and it's connected to finances or money. So, you know, um, I do see you, you know, basically um, getting what you want this week, okay? Some of you are going to be traveling. I do see that. Um, be more inventive and creative, and some of you are. I'm seeing that energy too, but it's really showing high creativity and more inventiveness. Okay, you are on the right path. That is the message is coming through here. Okay, there is something heavy um, in your thoughts, um, and it could be even connected to travel. Okay, or making some kind of decision, a decision, thinking things through. You do have manifesting energy. I really do like that. Now is the time to plant the seeds um, that you want to manifest for like the next month um, from now. Okay, um, I do see better moods, happier energy, more emotional stability. Okay, well, Virgo, that was your reading for the week ahead of uh, December 18th. Um, I do want to make an announcement about private readings. Uh, if you do book a private reading after the 20th of December, I won't be able to do um, reading till after January 2nd, okay? But it, of course, if you do book in a reading before the 20th of December, you will get the reading done this month. But I just wanted to let you know, so this is the time to book it up to the 20th if you want a reading done in December. Otherwise, you certainly can book a reading after the 20th. That's open for you, but I won't be able to schedule schedule you till after January 2nd. But anyway, um, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll catch you back next week for your next copy of reading. Until then, all the best. Bye for now.